Greetings. <clears throat> My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host, and this is Community Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking with Ms. Yolanda Brooks, and she is a person that you, Lake County, should know. She is a graduate of North Chicago Community High School, and now she's an educator. She's a uh, retired accountant. Uh, she's a musician. She plays uh, the drums and the bass guitar, the piano and keyboard, and, and uh, she'll tell you about some of the other instruments that she's involved in. Uh, she's the uh, daughter of Drs. Uh, Waddell and Daisy Brooks of North Chicago, uh, Illinois. Good, mo good evening, Yolanda. Good evening. How are you? <laughs> Thank you very much for <laughs> taking time from your busy schedule to be with us on uh, Community Forum. As I mentioned, that you are definitely a person that Lake County should know. Uh, your mom and dad are very proud of you. Uh, you've done an outstanding job. You're the eldest of three children. Um, Waddell Brooks Jr., who's also musically inclined, and then as Cassandra uh, Brooks, uh, uh, that's the, she took the vocal uh, area there, and uh, she's the director of. Uh, acquires at, at her church. But I'd like for you, Yolanda, to tell our listening audience a little bit about your personal and professional background. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, uh, <clears throat> professionally, uh, I am a teacher, okay. an educator. <clears throat> I teach uh, fifth grade right now at um, Prairie Trail School mm -hmm. in, within Gurney District 56. I've mm -hmm. uh, been teaching for about ooh, 10, 12, 13 years, I guess. Okay. Before that, I, um, I, I worked at AT&T. I, um, I graduated in accounting from Michigan State University ah. back in, ooh, 19, this was 1981. And um, I came out and worked for AT&T for about 14 years. And um, actually, the Lord just kind of moved me to, um, you know, take an early retirement and go to work for my mom, ah. <laughs> Daisy Brooks. <laughs> and the social service uh, uh, industry. So what I did was I took my accounting degree, mm -hmm. brought it over to the agency, Daisy's Resource and Developmental Center. Mm -hmm. Halfway through my career there, um, uh, they needed a substitute teacher, and I, th I thought I'd um, you know, give it a try. Because honestly, when I went to college, I really wanted to be a teacher, but oh. um, the money wasn't there, okay. so I went for the money. <laughs> okay. But my, my heart and my calling was to be a teacher. So. I started substitute teaching, and it turned out that that part of my day, I did half teaching and half accounting, mm -hmm. and it turned out the teaching part of my day was the most fulfilling. So mm -hmm. I went back to school at the age of 45 mm. and got my master's in teaching mm -hmm. and been teaching ever since. And so I uh, went into the public arena, and I also teach at the College of Lake County, oh. uh, teaching GED preparation to adults. Mm -hmm. And um, I teach at the uh, Waukegan Public Library, a digital literacy course, um, teaching, as you know, everything's just moved to computers, and there's a lot mm -hmm. of adults that are still trying to find jobs, but they just need help, um, you know, navigating um, through the internet and all of that to get to apply for jobs and mm -hmm. um, to just even work in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. So I teach them um, digital literacy and, and also Microsoft Word there, so I just, this is my a calling for me, so I, mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Initially, you chose accounting, but was it through your guidance counselor or uh, a, a teacher that inspired you to uh, to go to um, Michigan State and major in accounting? Well, um, after I chose accounting, um, I, I searched the you know the the colleges mm -hmm. to see who had the best business school mm -hmm. and Michigan State was one of the better ones mm -hmm. and it wasn't that that far from home where I could still get home. <laughs> Not that <laughs> far job. that um, mom and dad had to pay uh, out-of-state fees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah back then it wasn't that bad but now it's astronomical but yeah so um, I had a lot of good teachers and um, you know depend I had a mm, I had a good feel for math mm -hmm. and so um, in, in business because watching you and mom, so okay. kind of lean toward that way. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned about the out of state fees, but we just wanted you to be successful uh, in what you did. Mm -hmm. And you were, had a good background in accounting. As a matter of fact, 
the North Chicago community school system was an outstanding school yes. system at that time, yes, right? Yes, it was. Uh, well, Keegan, North Chicago, Zion, mm -hmm. um, same, report, same report as Gurney and all, you know, all the other districts. Okay. Um, so we got a really, really good foundation in North Chicago. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm praying that it'll ramp back up to where it was. Right, right. As a matter of fact, I had a, um, a guest on my show that you had in grade school. Did you have Mr. Joe Triola? Yes. Yeah, oh, my fifth grade school, teacher. Uh, the, yeah. He was one of my favorite teachers um, at Hart School. Uh -huh. It was it was called Central back in the day. Yes. Yeah. yeah so yeah, he was right. my fifth grade. He was one of my, one of my favorite teachers. Right. Right. So. Uh, yeah, he was a guest on my radio show. We did it uh, by telephone, and um, he was anxious to do the show because he was. He said, "You guys were outstanding." Oh, he, yeah. he remembered you, babe. Back. Yeah. And uh, his his wife was ill, mm -hmm. and he couldn't leave the home to mm -hmm. come to the station, so we did it by, by telephone. Yeah. So you have some outstanding um, musical background. You mentioned uh, Mr. Clark. Bill that, Clark. Uh, Bill yeah, Clark. And Neil uh, in, in grade school, he actually, uh, th that was the period where we were going to band contest, and I was honing my skills then with the oboe. So, um, yeah, he was, he was awesome. He was yeah, phenomenal. that was mom and dad's part-time job going to the different. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really concerts. thank you for the going through that because <laughs> those early years and practicing yeah, and yeah. the squawking in the, in the room and all of that, you hung, hung in there. You invested mm -hmm. actually in my first oboe, Good. first and only oboe. I still have it to, mm -hmm. right now. Back in 1968, I think mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. purchased the oboe and I'm um, still, still hanging in there with it. We got the oboe and, uh, uh, my mother purchased a piano. Right, for our piano lessons. Piano. Yeah. And, and we had a fire that destroyed uh, the home and the piano, and she bought another one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because so. she was very interested in mm -hmm. your, uh, what you guys were interested in, and mm -hmm. that's music. Yep. That was, that was fantastic. Um, now, the, the oboe is a special type of instrument that most people know the clarinet in it's a normal, but how, what special... Um, well, it's, criteria for I, brought, I brought it just, you can see it, so. Just happen to have just it. Just happen huh? to have one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks like a clarinet, and when you say oboe, most people look at the oboe and think about, it. well, before they look at it, they think about the big bassoon. Oh, okay. So, but this is, looks just like a clarinet. It has a double reed. Mm -hmm. um, the reeds that are put together, oh, let's see. So, this goes on top, okay. inside here. And uh, oboes actually are more for classical, okay, yeah. uh, concert band, uh, orchestra. Uh, you don't normally see them marching because they're temperamental to, with the weather. Um, plus, it's hard to keep it in your mouth when you're walking around uh, marching. Mm -hmm. And so you hear it a lot in cartoons and um, uh, uh, worship, uh, worship type settings. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's what it looks like. <laughs> Fantastic. Well. <clears throat> Since you mentioned about the um, the oboe, I like to just mention. I like I like to fast forward this. I I, I hope you don't mind no, my fast forwarding this. It's your show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm making it. I'm making your show now. <laughs> we we have a uh, you have produced a CD release gala, uh, which is going to be July the eighth, uh, twenty sixteen, six p.m. At the Christ Community Church, and that's in uh, at the Christian Arts Auditorium, mm -hmm. 2500 Dowie Memorial uh, Drive, Zion, Illinois. And most yes. people know where that's located. Uh, I think you take Lewis to Salem. Salem. Actually, Salem is the same street. Okay, and, and go, go east. Straight east, and you'll run right into the church. Okay, because quite a few people uh, uh, use uh, use the auditorium there. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so. Tell us about this. Uh, uh, what encouraged you to make a CD? Um, honestly, my brother. <laughs> okay. Uh, we were at some function, and there were people selling CDs there. And he said, you should have a table. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the type of person that's, I'm mostly in the background. Oh. And so, um, you know, when I play the drums and the keys, and, the, and I'm not used to being out front. Okay. And so that's not the, my most comfortable place. But okay. he pushed me and encouraged me. He said, you should do this CD. He came up with the concept of Praise Him, so H-Y-M-N, mm -hmm. um, and Praise Him. And um, there are seven songs on the CD, mostly hymns, and, but um, just 
different variations of it. Mm -hmm. I have one classical tune on there that takes you back to the beginning, mm -hmm. um, you know, where I started. And so the tickets are um, $15, uh, but that includes a CD, an okay. inaugural CD, autographed, and includes some hors d'oeuvres that the, the, um, the uh, uh, reception is from 6 to 6.45. Okay. You come in fellowship, and then <coughs> um, everybody will go into the auditorium, and the concert will start straight at 7.00. Mm -hmm. So the sign, uh, sign of the Dove praise team is going to be there. Oh. And I ha there's a dancer there from Shekinah Glory Ministry that I used to worship with at the uh, worship center in Evanston. Mm -hmm. So she's going to come and dance. So we're going to do an in interpretive uh, piece there. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm, I'm really, you know, looking forward to it. You know, the closer it gets, the more nervous I get. But <laughs> um, my sister and Sh Sharima Daniels, oh, uh, Sharima Hannibal, sorry. Okay. Sharima Hannibal is going to be playing keys, and her brother's playing bass, and um, my sister's going to be singing, my sister-in-law is going to sing, and oh. Iris Wallace and her husband, Marcella, are going to be playing the drums. And so we are really, really excited about, about the, the cel it's, it's going to be a spirit of celebration. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be uh, uh, quite a celebration there, and uh, you're going to be quite busy signing uh, CDs, there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Because I guess you expect for what, uh, two, three hundred people are going to be there? Well, it's the p capacity of the place is 500. So, okay. Um, the scripture says, you know, now unto him, this is Ephesians 3.20. Okay. That's the foundation of the scripture, um, you know, that I'm, I'm standing on. Okay. Uh, now unto him who's able to do exceeding abundantly. Okay. You know, not just abundantly, but exceeding abundantly beyond okay. what we can imagine. So I'm not putting any limitations on the Lord. Um, mm -hmm, if he wants mm -hmm. to fill the place, mm -hmm. you know, however many people come, you know, hopefully, you know, there'll be people there from all walks of life, mm -hmm. all ethnicities, from, from um, my, all the churches I've been, you know, involved with and, uh, my friends and my family mm -hmm. and my job. There are people from my job coming and a lot of people coming from out of town. And so even if they don't know the words to the songs, hopefully the melody will reach them yeah. and yeah. reach their yeah. heart and, and mind. And so we're just looking to, to just have fun that night. And this is an unusual uh, instrument. Uh, yes. Like you say, you don't find it in marching bands. It's no. usually in a... It's classical. Classical. Uh -huh. um, classical uh, uh, venues, concerts, orchestra, worship situations and praise too so mm -hmm. um, I'm you know I'm, I'm excited about it. If people in Lake County <coughs> did not know who Yolanda was they do now because it was all on cars at churches <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I yeah. think the only place I have not seen it was in the local newspaper. Well it's in people's voice. But send the, the people's voice, people's voice but by, yeah. mm -hmm. by uh, Elroy Reed. Yes, yes Reed there, so and that was all, Also on the online, what's happening? Um, okay. He was able to, to send it online, Facebook, um, that way. So, and and also um, um, Brooks uh, uh, blasted on his uh, oh, email that's list. That's right, Brooks <laughs> Forum. And I, email and, blast. And I think you probably had other other people blasted. Mm -hmm. So they know you all over the uh, all over the county now and hopefully that you'll get a great turnout yeah so if they if you want tickets you can buy them at the door now um uh or you can call uh 847 okay and 302-0356 and the number uh, is right here at the yeah. at the bottom of the flower right uh, so for information call my sister or you can uh <coughs> there's a website you can go to eventbrite uh, uh, dot com and just search for a C Yolanda CD, uh, but you can just come to the door and everybody's mm -hmm. so. I like to put a plug in too for our grandson. Oh yeah, he, he even uh, uh, supported you there too. Yes, uh, he's producing now in California, and he mm -hmm. he came out it's over Christmas break, and uh -huh. I used to. I started him playing the drums. I put oh, him on my knee, I I and I would play the bass drum because his feet were too, they were too small to two legs were too short. Uh -huh. So he would play the hi hat and snare, and and so he actually did the initial recording of the mm -hmm. CD, and um, um, then it was mastered by another company. But um, I'm so proud of him, and my niece actually Chastity, his sister actually sang on one of the songs. Oh, yeah. So when she came, she was actually here over Christmas break. And she, I, I encouraged her, she's really shy, but I encouraged her to grab a mic and she has such a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. So she's singing on one of the, the tunes. So. 
So. Fantastic. Since you mentioned about your niece, uh, let's uh, give her a plug. She's uh, attending Howard University. Yes. She's a senior at, at a Howard. A senior. Can't believe it. Seems like we just took her there. <laughs> right, but right. She's a right. senior at Howard. Yeah. And she received a ninety thousand dollar scholarship, mm -hmm. but it's over four years though. It yeah, wasn't. Well. Uh, it wasn't one year, and uh, but her father sp spends a lot <laughs> yeah. added to that. When I attended college, it's only forty dollars a semester. That's that's been a few years ago, you know, <laughs> but 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 he spends a, so you had. This is really a, was a family um, project mm -hmm. then, family right? Family project push. Because I know uh, uh, Dr. Daisy Brooks, your mother, has spent a lot of time on telephone. Right, to trying to push it. And I appreciate to you guys so much. To ensure that uh, everybody mm -hmm. knows about it, you know. See, so y'all are hustling. So yeah. I appreciate you, both of you, for even just investing, making that initial investment, because mm -hmm. you had no idea where it was going to go. I could have put no. it down, I played or whatever, but right. you... Um, have faith that I was going to continue, so I appreciate both of right. you. Well, would you mind giving us a <clears throat> just a gist of uh, what we're going to hear uh, on, on your CD? Um, I can try. Okay, we'll give you a little time, give me time to, to set up and set up and uh, and uh, I think it'd be very inspirational for those that have not heard the um, the oboe uh, <laughs> to to get a chance to. Uh, uh, to listen to it now. So, let's see if I can. Normally, I do a little warm up ahead of time, but let's see. Okay. So I'll just do a little bit of this. This um, I don't know. Let's see. Take as much time as you need. To <laughs> let's see. Fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much. And that, <coughs> that's the uh, uh, professional end of uh, the clarinet. Clarinet is just a, a routine instrument so well, it's for band. Uh, yeah, clarinet is for band and marching. And so this is just another type of instrument, that's all. It's uh, um, mostly, like I said, mostly for classical and worship and concert band. So. Um, I'm going to, of course, that was a cappella without accompaniment, so there'll be right. strings and uh, the drums and the bass guitar and um, along with that um, at the event, so. Now, now who do you uh, plan on a company? Uh, let's talk about what's going to be happening there, too. Uh, would, would your uh, brother be a, a playing the keyboard with you? Or? No, Sharima, uh, oh, Sharima. Hannibal. Yeah. Okay. My okay. brother's going to be MC. Ah. Uh. That's Steve, a unique Steve experience. Harvey of the, Steve Harvey of the family. Yeah. <laughs> That's so. a price of admission right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's going to be emceeing. And um, I've got um, Elder Rick and Peonita Harris, Reverend, uh, Reverend Peonita Harris, who I worship with at the Worship Center in Evanston. It's going to do, you know, words of encouragement, invocation. Mm -hmm. Like I said, Barbara Smith is the, the dancer from Shekinah Glory Ministry. Um, Sign of the Dove, uh, Corey Ratcliffe and Sign of the Dove were... Um, Pastor, Pastor Stackhouse, uh, Stackhouse. Harry Stackhouse. And Deborah Stackhouse. I'm uh -huh. not sure, Bishop, Reverend. I think Bishop. I yeah, these titles. I can't, I don't know. I can't remember, but anyway, um, <coughs> they graciously uh, uh, agreed to to help me with the celebration. 
Um, so uh, Michelle Dixon, Rosenbaum Dixon is providing the food, mm -hmm. uh, the reception. She's an awesome cook, so she's going to provide food from Fantastic. 6 to 6.45. You know yeah. what? I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't hardly recognize this picture. Oh, Kenneth, Kenneth Smith's photography. Give I'll give him a plug. He didn't do too much of the brushing, did he? I, mean, <laughs> kinda, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. That doesn't look like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, who, who, I hope I this? look like that on Friday. No, no, he uh, he actually did the cover art for the cover and the the CD insert. So mm -hmm. did awesome. I guess he'll be there too, uh, taking yeah, pictures. Yeah, he'll be taking pictures. Yeah, I also did right. a video for one of the songs. Um, oh. Hayes uh, Hayes Brothers, um, they'll be there filming too. So I'm going to premiere a video okay. for one of the songs on the CD. Okay. So they did an awesome job with it. Yeah, peace. It's going to be an awesome time there yeah, for uh, I'm looking forward to it for for this area too. You know, mm -hmm. where a local person. But tell us about your uh, early childhood education uh, that really was a criteria, really prompt you to be where you are now. It 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 started early. Well, yeah, I you know from kindergarten all the way out. I it's been a journey. You know. Okay. So I had a good foundation of education. Okay. Um, and, and my church is uh, started in Shiloh. We grew up in Shiloh. <laughs> okay. And we got a good foundation of the word. Um, that was um, Baptist Training Union Sunday School. And, and so... Uh, I remember all know, three of you were ushers. Yes, ushers. <laughs> so we got the signals down, you know. Um, uh, we, like I said, we got a good foundation in the word. And um, uh, all along, from, from childhood all the way through college. And, and, and so... Um, I believe that, you know, who we are, okay. we're a culmination of the experiences that we have, the people we meet along the way, mm -hmm. the education that we have, and so our personalities form. And so God, um, you know, th the word says he beautifully makes us, wondrously mm -hmm. makes us, and gives mm -hmm. us what we need to, to make it through the journey. And he has mm -hmm. a plan for us, okay. um, a, a, a destiny for us. Okay. And so this thing right here, and this is part of my destiny and I, okay. you know, I wasn't, it wasn't on my mind, you okay. know, I okay. was just, you know, on the praise teams at churches and, oh, yeah. and um, it, what, doing a CD was not on my mind, but um, you planted, the Lord planted that seed in Waddell's Waddell, uh, head and, and just, he just shared it with me. And so I'm just kind of walking in it, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I. Um, so you had a great background that uh, uh, a family background, the family was together. And uh, I, I, yeah. rem I remember uh, uh, while you were in, uh, well, primary grades, we used to get on the living room floor and, and learn how to count how many that, how many that, how many that. And, and, and also, I would uh, uh, um, give, amount, uh, give monies for a quarter for an A and... Oh. <laughs> Ten cents for it. and I'd be surprised how Waddell was the chairman. Of, you know, <laughs> he was the treasurer. He, he was yeah. the treasurer, and, and he would, and I, I didn't even have to look at the report cards. He, he took care of it for me, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and then church, you mentioned that I can remember. Uh, you probably could some stand out in your mind, Sister Parks, the usher. She was the, a, the, the chairman of the usher board for the for the youth. Uh -huh. So she taught us, you know, discipline. <laughs> okay, definitely, yeah. So, um, but yeah, all, all the churches, you know, associated with Masani, Word of Life, um, Worship Center, you know, even Christ Christian Valley that I am now. And these mm -hmm. churches that we visited, I've, there's always been some kind of word that, um, you know, that helped mm -hmm. propel me to, to where mm -hmm. I am now. So a lot of ministers in the area and abroad. And so... Um, I just, I am thankful to God for the journey. You know, mm -hmm, it hasn't been mm -hmm. easy all the time. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, all of our experiences, like I said, mold us and help make us. And so mm -hmm. sometimes we we don't follow the path that God wants us to all the time. Okay. But the okay. end result, that in the, in the destiny, um, we, we um, there's a destiny that he wants to take us to. So mm -hmm. sometimes he lets us while out and... Mm -hmm. And we come back. <laughs> yeah. But you had a good foundation, yeah, to, good foundation. To, to come back. You know, yes. how, you know how to good get foundation. back. Good you know. foundation. So and all three of us had, you know, um, yeah. great, um, great foundation at home. And, you know, always, you know, make sure that we, we recognize God in our mm -hmm. lives and, and don't not abandon him. You know. Everyone on this earth has a purpose-driven life. Yes. Yes. 
it may not be the, it's not the same it never be the same but right. but you're destined by God to go into he's using you to exactly. go in the direction that he wants you to go exactly so you know yep that's exactly right so we just have to have faith to walk in it mm -hmm. you know that's mm -hmm. that's my you know that's my journey this this faith walk it's it's crazy but mm -hmm. um but that's where he wants us so you mentioned about your employment history it started with the the state of Illinois, I guess that was yeah. the, uh, the Illinois one Department of Revenue. Department of Revenue, okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then went to AT and T for 14 years, and okay. then that's when I took the early retirement. I, I worked uh, in Chicago, moved to New Jersey, and then took the early retirement, moved back here to work for mom, mm -hmm. and for I think mean, nine, ten, I'm not sure, nine, ten years, but. Um, with, with mom. Um, yeah. But that was that was a challenging experience, right? <laughs> I loved you, it. Yeah. I loved it. I love what love you mom had. It. Mom, um, she had a vision. Both of you are visionaries, you know. Mm -hmm. And so I think that all three of us, in our own ways, we have inherited that DNA from okay. you um, to be visionaries. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it's tough because not only do you have the vision, but you have to give other people, you have to explain the vision to other people mm -hmm. so they get excited okay. and walk with you, not just say, hey, good job, you know, right, to right. actually work with you. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. um, I think that we, we, we got that honestly from both of you. I welcome the opportunity that when you, <laughs> each one of you graduated from high school, I asked you, uh, were you, were you going to college? In the answer, I never will forget what else. Daddy, do we have a choice? We know we did not have a choice. <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer was where do you want to go, not if you want to go to college. And so, right. I, you know, I appreciate that you were able to, you know, um, you were able to send us. So Cassandra had her choice of national, uh, uh, and I, I don't know where she, I guess through guidance counselors mm -hmm. or where she she wanted to go. We said, okay, when when do you want to start? Mm -hmm. And, and what else, his choice was the University of Illinois. He mm -hmm. majored in electrical engineering, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so um, you're more satisfied if you made the choice, you know, knowing that you made the choice. Yeah, which, cut? yeah. That, so. You know, that you, you're happy, you, mm -hmm. you're successful because you did what you wanted to do. And uh, we just supported you in every way, every graduation. E even your grandmother came from East St. Louis to graduations. Right, she all the graduations. She the never gra missed she's one. She's right there, too. She never missed one. So this was, and this is what we try to convey uh, to uh, parents now. It's so important uh, that you uh, support your children. Mm -hmm. I mean, because uh, once from, from, from birth, childbirth until until they, and you never stop, even when they get adults. <laughs> you know, fifties mm -hmm. uh, and sixties, you still, you still support them, but you still, uh, uh, God has given you them and you. Um, the colleges that you attended. Now you mentioned that you went to Michigan State first, but you. What other colleges that you? Had? I went to um, Columbia. College in Chicago to get my master's in teaching. Okay. And then I went to DePaul to get my administrative certification. So okay. I, um, I am, uh, the next step is to be a principal or administrator. And so that's, that's the next step in my journey. So you have the qualifications now to be a principal? Yes. Okay. I have the certification, yeah. yes. Okay. So I got, uh, received that, earned that from uh, DePaul University mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Chicago. So I, uh, I thought about a retirement when you left. Uh, by the way, you were at, is, was AT&T, was that the headquarters in? Uh, in New Jersey, yes. In New Jersey. I worked at the headquarters in New Jersey. Oh, so okay. I worked at the regional office in Chicago and then had an opportunity to go out east. Okay. They were looking for some people to gain headquarters experience because in the regions, you know, you know we get on these conference calls and, and they give us all these directives and we were mm -hmm. sometimes we would like oh man not <laughs> really you guys don't know what it's like out here yeah. and so what they did they had an exchange program so they brought people in from headquarters to the regions to understand what was going on and then there was an opportunity for some of us to go out there to understand why you know headquarters was making those decisions mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. we brought regional experience there and the headquarters brought headquarters experience to the regions so oh, that was yeah, an awesome yeah. experience Mm -hmm. uh, I noticed you mentioned about the College of Lake County uh, that you, but initially when you were in high school, then then each one of you go out to CLC for computer training or, or some some colleges mm. a after school or doing school. I think I 
took some classes there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. So you were familiar with CLC, mm -hmm. and and also now you one of the teachers there. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's an awesome place. I mean, um, College of Lake County gets a bad <laughs> rap because it's a community college or whatever, but they have awesome programs there. And um, now the move sometimes is to take the the first couple years at the College of Lake County and move to your major okay. at the major universities. And so um, I think it's sometimes that's a smarter move. It depends. And then also, if you're not sure what you want to do, mm -hmm. that's a good move. You don't stop school. You just keep going with the, um, you know, the basic requirements until mm -hmm. you're ready mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. that major decision about what you want to do. Also at CLC, they have about 18 at least 18, maybe 18 to 20 uh, college uh, yes. satellites. Uh, yes, they're, it's University Center. Okay. Um, so for people that live up this way, they don't have to travel all the way to Chicago. Okay. They can take classes here and be part of those other universities mm -hmm. and get credit there. That is fantastic. That's mm -hmm. a fantastic awesome. idea. That was awesome. Thing, you know. um, so you, you, you're preparing, uh, you say GED mm -hmm. preparation? Is that yeah, for those, for those individuals that... Um, didn't get their high school diploma for whatever reason. Um, they're they're earning their GED, so but they need to brush up on their you know major mm -hmm, mm -hmm. topics, the the English, the reading, um, the math, science, and social studies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so some of them have been out of school 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. and they just need to kind of brush up on mm -hmm. to get, to pass the GED exam. Your mother had mentioned that you also interested, quote, the sky's the limit, you know, it's uh, like you say, you're destined for these different uh, areas. You're interested in p performing arts? Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> my, the dream, <laughs> the vision <laughs> is to start a performing arts academy. Okay. And so um, anymore, as budgets have been cut with schools, they've, one of the first things they cut is the performing arts, which yeah. is, you know, music, art, dance. Um, and these are a lot of times these are the uh, the subjects and the, it's an outlet for students. Okay. You know, instead of st sitting in a classroom, it's like an outlet for them. And so I I had this vision of starting a performing arts academy. It's mm. not a small task, you yeah, know, with funding yeah. and everything. But that's still my still my dream. This is fantastic. Uh, so retirement has never been on your mind. Then see, I thought you were retiring uh, uh, from me uh, from. Uh, AT&T, but you weren't retiring. No, just you were just changing careers. Changing careers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to retire. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, yeah. as long as I'm enjoying what I'm doing, I'm just not. Because mm -hmm. on the 10th, I'll be 57. So ah. this, this whole weekend coming up will be a, a great celebration with the CD release and a birthday. Yeah. And, and just, just, you know, looking forward to seeing what God, you know, what my next step is along the journey. So. Well, we'll have to have another celebration because we normally do. Uh, celebrations on birthdays. Yes. So uh, mostly uh, eating. <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's nothing, nothing wrong with uh, yeah, eating. Yeah, having you know, a meal, right? Right, right. So that'd be the the tenth of uh, July. July. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is uh, so. So retirement is uh, is is on hold too until. Yeah, you know, uh, you never never know what what's going to happen in the future. So we'll see. I have to mention this. Uh, Sports was in your life is not as a, a career, but you love sports too. You used to play sports in high school. Yeah, it was an outlet. You okay, know, I was pretty much a bookworm, mm -hmm. but um, in the library and in the band room. So I, I played tennis, basketball, uh -huh. and so, uh, twelve inch softball. Okay, just as as an outlet. Never decided to be a Serena Williams, huh? No, <laughs> no. no, it wasn't that good. It, it was just you know, uh, just an outlet. But I noticed your your picture is on the Hall of Fame there in the high school. <laughs> yeah, you you saw it up there? But yes. It, it, yeah. So, so I don't know, is that for the variety of, of sports that you played or I was think that, that was just overall. tennis? I think that was overall. Overall, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Very, fa fantastic. Yeah. Um, one thing is very vital, and I wish all the parents would encourage their, their students to get involved in church activity. Mm -hmm. um, now, church has always been a part of your life. You had mentioned about that, you know. And uh, what about playing the, is, oh, you play the drums. You play the organ also, uh, the piano? Key, piano. A keyboard, whatever, yeah, you keyboard. know. Yeah, keyboard. Keyboard and piano. Yeah. 
Now, how did you start drums, though? That just uh, just from like I said, I couldn't march with the oboe, and um, started playing the tenor drum and yeah. the uh, bass drum, and so uh, then I started playing the jazz in the jazz band, okay. bass guitar, and then learned how to play the, the drums. Oh, we didn't mention bass guitar, but uh, uh, how did you? you just curious, that we evolved. This? Just curious, the guy who played bass guitar in the jazz band, I was watching him play, okay. and I liked the sound of it. I liked the bottom, the foundation of it, and yeah. I just asked him, you know, if he could show me some things, and he did, so I started playing. Oh, man. This and I had a foundation of reading notes and, and playing by ear. Both combination of those things helped mm -hmm. me, you know. Play. Do you remember, I can see her in my mind here, but I can't call her name down, <clears throat> that you guys had piano lessons from, you remember her? The old, older lady. Miss Schooneman. Schooneman. Yeah, yeah you Schooneman. got a good memory. Schooneman. See, in, in my case, uh, uh, there are three things get away from me as I get older. Uh, the first thing to go is the memory. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the other two. <laughs> <laughs> but you remember Schooneman right away because she's such an influence. Yeah, I mean, so she meant business. You, yes. you didn't play. She didn't play. Right, right, right. She gave us the foundation in classical and uh -huh. then um, we took some lessons for jazz piano from Miss Gaynor. Oh, um, yes. I can't remember her first name. But Is it La Laura Gaynor? Was it? No, but Laura Gaynor was. I can't remember her first name, but Miss Gaynor. But she has students in the... Was no, she just... just um, was she, it had, she had private lessons. She did private lessons. Yeah. And was, she taught us um, some... She, she wasn't a teacher, was she? Was a, a, but she had kids in school? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, Laura, Willie the, and... Um, yeah. Um, Kevin and, and Robin. Yeah, Gaynor, yeah, yeah. These, they lived in North Chicago. Mm -hmm. I didn't so, know she taught too. Though. Yeah, she taught us actually how to improvise. Miss Schooneman taught us foundation classical on the paper. Okay. And so Miss Miss Gaynor taught us to improvise, just to use play from our hearts okay. and um, uh, off the paper. Yeah. So we had the foundation of notes, and she helped us to just kind of close our eyes and, and play with feeling and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Well, this has been. Uh, Yolanda Denise Brooks, and uh, Praise Him is the theme. The CD release, Gala, uh, will be July the 8th. Now, this program will air Thursday, July 7th. 7th. <laughs> so, so uh, we'll say tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's airing on Channel 17 uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Okay. Matter of fact, Community Forum airs every Thursday night at 7 p.m. On, uh, on Thursday nights. And this event is going to be at the Christ Community Church. And uh, I'm sure we it's listed on the screen here now, but I just want to emphasize it. At the Christian Arts Auditorium, mm -hmm. 2500 Dowie Memorial Drive, Zion, Illinois. Mm -hmm. But walk us to the uh, uh, Christ Community Church. Oh, you can take Lewis to, and it's, it says Salem on your GPS. Okay. Uh, Dowie Memorial Drive and Salem are the same street. Okay. And you go east. Okay. And then you'll run right into the church. Okay. Um, you'll see you'll see Christ Community Church on the the marquee, and then as you go into the parking lot, there the Christ a uh, Christian Arts uh, Auditorium. Okay. Is, is right there. You can't miss it. Fantastic. And, um, zero eight four seven three zero two zero three five six. For ticket for information. Tickets, huh? But by the time the show airs, you probably be better just to just come to the door. Okay. And you can buy your tickets at the door. It includes a CD. Ah. Uh, and I can autograph it for you uh, before my autograph costs a lot of money. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but the nominal fee is fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars, yeah. And, and that includes, includes the CD, the CD yes. right? Includes the CD and hors d'oeuvres and just an awesome time of fellowship and mm -hmm. celebration. This will be a great. Uh, a reunion of your your classmates if uh, the word get around mm -hmm. they would be happy so to uh, classmates family job you know co-workers um, just you know whoever uh, I just I'm just excited about it I'm mm -hmm. excited I'm mm -hmm. a little nervous uh, like I said about being out you know I'm usually in the background so this the Lord mm -hmm. is pushing me to just minister, you know what I mean? I just mm -hmm. and this is a ministry. A this is yeah. a ministry to it. celebrate and share and share the gifts, you know, that God has given me, and just kind of in a in a in a in a melody and, and musical format. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, this is uh, a fantastic. Well, mention some of the other accomplishments then uh, that you um, in your work history. 
you have you got so many accomplishments. Uh, I know in in the musical area, uh, you mentioned uh, drums, uh, bass, guitar, the, the piano, and so forth. You know, um, but you're you're working, and you mentioned about the the accounting area that you've been involved in, the educational career. Is there anything that we have not covered that you have that you have not done? Now, uh, you sound like a, another person that's been instrumental in your life. You might tell us about her, uh, Dr. Daisy Brooks. Oh. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> She's done yeah. everything too. If I could list the things that yeah, she has yeah. done, you I know. just you know honestly. Uh, my role model, mm -hmm. um, she just watching her, it's like somebody you would read in Ebony Magazine or somebody, you know what I mean? Okay. So she's really accomplished and uh, she's in the process of writing a, a book. Okay. She, she put out her memoir, just kind of a background of her life, but she's mm -hmm. in the process of actually writing a, a full, full scale book of her life. Mm -hmm. um, so just watching you and her, you know, build mm -hmm. from the bottom. I mean, just every ordinary day people, you know, her from Natchez, Mississippi, and you from Lexington, and, and then growing up in East St. Louis. Mm -hmm. And um, we just were kind of like tagging along and, and uh, trying to pick up some nuggets as we got older, you know? Well, we just want to prove that there's some good can come out of Natchez, Mississippi, <laughs> and that some good can come out of East St. Louis, Illinois, and you're proving that good can come from North, North Chicago, Chicago That's Illinois. That's correct. That know? is correct. <laughs> there are a lot yeah. of good people here. And so, uh, you know, we just have to s find ways to celebrate each other. Mm -hmm. That's all. Mm -hmm. Come together and celebrate each other. Mm -hmm. This is like there's so much, you know, there's so many things you can talk about that's not right. Okay. And that's bad. But there's a lot of things that you can talk about that's good. And mm -hmm. so we just need to find some time and. Find a find a reason, you know, just to celebrate each other, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have reunions, high school reunions? I, I I know your brother mentioned about his reunion in the '78 class. Yeah, every. Ten, uh, you were what '77 class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every 10, 25 years, uh, every 10 years, I guess there's a reunion. I don't even know what the reunion that's coming up because I graduated in '77. So okay. what is that? Subtract. <laughs> I'm not even going to try to subtract. <laughs> now <laughs> someone has to ago. has to host it or mm -hmm. spearhead it, you know, mm -hmm. this type of thing, you know. So. And uh, but there are some good things that uh, uh, we. It was such a great, uh, uh, great life coming through. You you were anxious to get to school. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it wasn't that. Oh, I don't feel like it today. I have a headache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't go to school. But uh, you guys were always anxious to. Be on time, be mm -hmm. prompt, and and ready to go. Come home and do homework. We we have to, we didn't have to encourage you to do homework. We didn't have service. a choice, <laughs> so we had to do it. Yeah, <laughs> no. Right, 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 right. But it's just you know, teachers discipline or whatever. So it was good. It was a good mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. uh, good time. Uh, we have several teachers asked about. Did you have a teacher named Joan Tomkovich? Did you ever know her? I don't remember that name. She may have come, may have been before. But there are teachers that always ask about you guys, how, how are you doing? So hopefully they will feel well enough to, to come out and mm -hmm. see. And I'm trying to get in touch with your, the person that started you with Oboe, uh, Bill William Clark. Yeah, I mean, He Clark. lives in the Zion, Kenosha, or Winthrop Harbor area. And so we're still trying to get in touch, oh, okay. touch with him. That would be so good out. to see him. Um, yeah, he started me. Like I said, I didn't even know what an oboe was. Right, right. He introduced it to me. And so uh, just um, home the gift and... Tell us know. about the uniqueness now. How do you... Um, uh, what Play. special, uh, I guess, qualifications or... Well, you, you have, have to have a good ear okay. um, for tones. And so knowing what's sharp, flat... Um, it's also um, difficult uh, to 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 um, direct your your air through a tiny little reed mm. uh, as this, and so it's a double reed, two reeds put together. But oh. there's not a lot of space for air to go in, okay. so you have to really hone your air inside this and and and, and make it vibrate and you know. Your um, this is called an embouchure, okay. and you have to really um, make sure that your embouchure is just right in mm -hmm. order to play this. So there's a lot going on um, in playing this instrument. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, I, uh, the the tone is pretty unique. It's it's penetrating, but 
still rounded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. As I remember, speaking of teaching, um, at Daisy's Resource and Developmental Center uh, in the optional, optional school area, I think it was option school. You used to teach music. Yeah, I taught. You remember uh, over, mm -hmm. over at uh, so the I house taught, next door? We had a, a grant where we were able to get uh, production equipment, music okay. production equipment, recording equipment, keyboards, mm -hmm. and things like that. And so what I did when I was teaching English and uh, reading and language arts, mm -hmm. I, I um, taught music production as an extension of that. Mm -hmm. And so they wrote poetry, you know, they, they, got the, they like to write writing raps and all of that. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, help them create their poetry and then put the poetry to music. And so I taught both ends of it. Mm -hmm. And so we did mm -hmm. some recording and that kind of thing. So that was that was pretty interesting. And it kept them, you know, interested in, in you know, writing and, and, uh, and English and, you know, doing the language arts and because they knew that the recording was coming. Mm -hmm. So, you know, <clears throat> I've been sitting here reminiscing and trying to uh, figure out what have kept you motivated to do the things that you're doing and been successful. And you know what I've come up with? What? You are a child of God. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So tell us about your religious experience. Well, I mean, it's just recognizing that, you know, the Lord is the head of my life. Okay. And I'm nothing without him. It's like, like the song, he's, he's the air I breathe. And so okay. I cannot make it without him. Um, and all I'm doing, I'm just a vessel, you know, okay. just to glorify him. And so, um, I, my joy is to, especially like in teaching is mm -hmm. those aha moments. And so sharing what I have to help, you know, the children, you know, learn mm -hmm. and, um, you know, just, helping encourage them that they are um, gifts, okay. you know, they're gifts. And so a lot of the kids sometimes, that you know, they're going through so much, so many things. And yeah. so my, I really am, 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 you know, motivated to just help them recognize the gifts that are in them, just mm -hmm. like the Lord planted gifts in me and you and mom. Mm -hmm. and, just let them know that they're special and um, they have something to contribute and um, they're not so bad, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. There's so many negative me messages out there. So just trying to help them, help, help them know that they are special and they were specially created and they have a, a destiny also. You know, it shows that you're in the, in the right field yeah. of teaching. And it's something special about the... Uh, uh, the fifth grade. Uh, I, I know we taught that, uh, well, data <laughs> it shows that third grade, if a child doesn't reach a certain potential by third grade, there are um, um, the establishment mm -hmm. is planning on building a prison based on the achievement there mm -hmm. at the third grade. Because if you have difficulty at the third grade, you're going to get progressively behind each each grade level, mm -hmm. and once you get to high school, you're not going to be able to do the algebra, trigonometry, calculus, and so forth. So what happens? You have a tendency to drop out, mm -hmm. and you get out in the community, and then you're going to get involved in things that cause you to be incarcerated. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the, the story, you know, and mm -hmm. I, there are people that are, that do, because business, jail is a, is a business, you know, okay. and so, but you know, our, our goal is, you know, as child, child, children of God is to reverse that cycle. Okay. And even if they are not where they're supposed to be, the, it's not impossible to get the gap closed. Mm -hmm. It's not, mm -hmm. you're not a lost cause. Mm -hmm. You may be behind, but with the right honing and the right training, you don't have to, you don't have to walk that path. Mm -hmm. And so um, there's enough of us out there. Well, we are brothers keeper, right? That's right. There are enough of us out there, you know, not just teachers. There's grandma, grandpa, aunts, uncles, you know. We're a village. Like, okay. It takes a village to 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 help you know keep keep everybody keep the children on the right path. That sounds so, like the old African problem. It is. It, it takes is. a it takes a village to raise a child. Yes. So yeah, some right. are seed planters, some are waterers, some are nurturers, and so we you know God give us gives us the gifts you know for us to you know you never know who's watching. Okay. You never know you know who whose child or who's anybody. You not just to have to be a child, can be an adult. 
that might need an encouraging word. So we mm -hmm. have to be aware all the time that we're, you know, we're not just here haphazardly. So we all we all are role models, right? Yes, yes. And, and like you, you hit the nail on the head. You say, you know, people watching us all the time. Mm -hmm. It's that, a fun journey, though. I mean, it's not it's not easy. You know, it's not an easy journey, but it's it's worth it. Right, right. It's worth it. Uh, tell us about your uh, siblings. You know, you, I mean, your as I say, say brother and sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, uh, that you guys work together so close together. Uh, when you were moving from uh, New Jersey here, your sister, you may have flew her out there, I don't know, but she went out there to help you mm -hmm. wouldn't, wouldn't drive back. Drive or, back with all my stuff. <laughs> 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 so no, we, we have love for each other. So, you mm -hmm. know, we, there's nothing we wouldn't do for each other. Great, so, great, yeah. great. E even now, um, at my son's church, um, uh, the youngest daughter, well, Cassandra, she's uh, she go out in the system, mm -hmm. you know, and, and directing the choir mm -hmm. and, and, and whatever may be involved in, you know. So just a, a team effort, mm -hmm. you know. Well, well, uh, what's on the horizon? Now, we, you know, I'm, I'm looking at something even beyond the CD uh, that's going to be released. The CD again is going to be released. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a signing. Um, the gala is going to be tomorrow. July the 8th, uh, 2016, 6 p.m., uh, Christ Community Church, Christian Arts Auditorium, uh, and which is co has a capacity of 500, 500 people. 500. And uh, so if you get about, well, it has to be over, over 300 people, you'll be happy to get Exceeding there. Exceeding abundantly, <laughs> I'm expecting. Okay. okay so. And it's located at uh, 2,500 Dowie Memorial Drive, Zion, Illinois. Um, and the, the tickets are at a nominal price, which you can get at the door mm -hmm. uh, at this time. Uh, it includes the CD. $15 includes the CD. And there will be hors d'oeuvres. Yes. Hors d'oeuvres there. Six o'clock. And the uh, program starts at seven. Yes. Okay. And for ticket information, uh, you may call 847-302-0356 or just those that are no, go, go or just come to the door, yeah. A person at the door, okay. And those that know me, I'm around and <laughs> everywhere, you know. I always keep tickets on my person and uh, be happy to share them with you. Um, okay. So we couldn't, we, we have to, oh, praise, uh, praise him. Is that? Uh, that's the title of the CD. Ti oh, title of the CD. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's him. That's H-Y-M-N. <laughs> you know, fa fantastic. Uh, well, I want to congratulate you on uh, your efforts. And I know there are greater things that, uh, that's, that's coming even Thank after you. the CD. Right? Thank you. Yeah. And maybe what? Maybe a DVD? Uh DVD may be down the line. Uh, maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> maybe well, so. we produce on the Okay, I, I think we've um, uh, we've covered the waterfront. And then what I like to emphasize is that it is a family affair. Mm -hmm. You know, you have a uh, and uh, family from out of town and friends yes. from out of town will will there, be here. As a yes. matter of fact, I saw some reservations. Uh, uh, Airport transportation <laughs> oh, <laughs> before awesome. I left home, you oh, know, awesome. Uh, awesome. it's going to gonna be here uh, uh, what Thursday, I guess, mm -hmm. coming. Okay. Um, uh, now, finally, would you, I, I like to let everybody know how important it is for youngsters. You have proven, uh, you started from uh, even kindergarten, probably pre-kindergarten, Oh, no, this just didn't happen just overnight. No. It's been yeah. a, like I said, my, it's been a 57-year journey. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, as of July 10th. Mm -hmm. And so um, just, you know, it's so important to, you know, keep the nurturing going, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, where I teach, you know, there are certain, there are a lot of, you know, um, 
students and that have hard times and and but you know nothing is hopeless there's mm -hmm. nothing beyond you know yeah, there's always some hope mm -hmm. and so you have to find um, some gift or some good in everybody and then those children they're, they're very impressionable mm -hmm. and so they hear a lot of tapes a lot of messages and even as adults you know sometimes we we listen to the negativity and we have to let's erase those tapes mm -hmm. sometimes you know you know the old cassette tape okay. when you erase and, and record over it you still hear the mumbling in, uh, in the old tape okay and so sometimes you have to throw away the old tape and just record something new go mm -hmm. forward and record something new it says looking forward to those things that are um don't look behind look mm -hmm. forward and so uh we we have the capacity to succeed god has given us he doesn't want us to fail Okay. He's given us the capacity to succeed, mm -hmm. but we have to choose our path and, um, uh, you know, be around people that are positive, okay. be around positive okay. messages, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just kind of rehearse those messages in our head and, and you know, be a vessel. You know, as we, you know, as we are uh, blessed, we should be a blessing to somebody else. Okay. And okay. so it's kind of like pay it forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and that's the vision uh, that your mother had, yes. your vision. Yes. And I think right now she got so many people called her, thanking her mm -hmm. for the assistance, that, the love mm -hmm. that she shared when they were uh, um, at, at the school. Yeah, social you know. work is not an easy job because you don't really get praise right away. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes years and years and years sometimes to develop into yeah, yeah. what God has called you to be. And mm -hmm. so... Um, as you're working it, you just have to have faith that mm -hmm. you're planting seed in good ground mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. as they leave, even if they, as they leave, they may not appreciate it until years and years down. Like you oh. said, they've come back 10, 15 years later, you know, thinking, thinking mom for the rules that mm -hmm. they bucked against before. Like, why do I have to turn the lights out by eight o'clock? <laughs> and now that they're paying a the light bill, they know, <laughs> <laughs> That's right. they know exactly. why, you exactly. know, and as exactly. they have children of their own, you know, they know about. The, the discipline and all of that, that mom, mm -hmm. you know, because she's very unorthodox. Yeah, you she'll know, tell she, you. That, uh, she does to do things according to, you know, dot A, subsection three, you know, she mm -hmm. looks at, um, she lets the Lord lead her as far as, you know, what should be, you know, planted or what, how she should love somebody, you know, mm -hmm. but the children, some children need this thing, other children need that thing, so... Mm -hmm. She gives them what they need, even with us. You know, three of okay. us are different, so she okay. she knows what we needed. So, mm -hmm. okay, I, I want to thank you very much, uh, Yolanda. Thank, congratulations. Thank you very much for having me on your show, Dr. Yeah. Brooks. and uh, to to get the word out about uh, praising one more time. <laughs> the, uh, that there's a CD that Yolanda has produced. It's the release would the release gala would be January eighth, twenty sixteen, at six p.m. Christ Community Church. Uh, Christian Arts Auditorium, 2500 Dowie Memorial Drive, Zion, Illinois. For ticket information, call 847-302-0356. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Community Forum. My name is Dr. Waddell Brooks, Sr., your host. Yay, whew. <laughs>